What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. Or, again, Zach Novak really uploads. But, I've said this before and I'm going to say it again. Things are changing and you'll see in the future what is actually happening. But, in the meantime, we got Zor's location and inventory for the actual weekend. Let's roll the intro and get into it. I do hope you certainly enjoy. Alrighty, getting straight into the video. Zor is on Nessus, chilling at Watcher's Grave up on the actual barge. Once you spawn and jump on your sparrow and head up in this general direction, and the good old tentacle bastard hopefully has something good this week, especially for my Titan. Fingers crossed. Yes, we may speak if you've got something good, Zor. Okay, well, this week in itself actually is pretty good. I will state for, well, I'm pretty sure this is the last week for um well zor until the actual you know new update and stuff that changes the new season all that stuff all right starting things off we've got ourselves the apotheosis veil 23 legendary shards for this warlock exotic helmet that actually is pretty decent it actually looks pretty cool as well i will state that main perk on it is called insatiable immediately regenerate health melee grenade and rift energy upon activating your super nearby allies also recharge class abilities faster this thing in itself honestly is a lot of fun and actually looks pretty decent i will actually state it has got some pretty good perks hasn't got the greatest actual stat it is 48 but still this thing in itself it's actually pretty basically. Pick it up for your Warlock if you have not got a 23 legendary shards. Moving on though, next up, we've got ourselves the Helm of Saint 14. 23 legendary shards for this Russian made starless knight type of exotic for the Titan. I'll actually state this thing itself is seriously cool. The exotic from D1 to D2, Helm of Saint 14, it is awesome. Starless Knight, enemies that enter the Ward of Dawn are blinded while allies will pass through again an overshield. Guarding while in Sentinel Shield also blinds nearby enemies. Which in itself is pretty freaking cool, I watched it state. And it does actually have ornaments, however I haven't got any of the ornaments myself, but those ornaments in themselves do actually look pretty freaking beastly. Once again though, this thing is pretty nice, pretty awesome, it's decent in everything but PV in pvp it blinds things so you can actually just you know attack them without them being able to see you it's cool pick it up if you have not got it once again for the actual titan moving on though next up we've got ourselves the lucky pants for the hunter or huntress 20 legendary shards for this very fun exotic that i have used recently and had a lot of actual fun using it and perk is called Illegally Modded Holster. Precision hits load one round to the chamber of stowed hand cannons and the hand cannons ready faster and are more accurate immediately after swapping to them. This thing in itself is honestly fun if you do actually run two hand cannons like myself that I do a lot. This thing is definitely a lot of fun. Looks pretty cool and it also looks pretty awesome with the ornament. It just is, you know, cool no, kind of, I was going to say corny kind of cowboy, but it kind of sounds weird because it kind of like I'm saying corny kind of cowboy, but uh, anyway, this thing in itself honestly is pretty nice. 23 legendary shards, 48 is its stat. Pick it up if you're not cut off your hunter or huntress. Moving on though, next up, we've got ourselves the Prometheus Lens. This thing in itself honestly is amazing. 29 legendary shards for a trace rifle thing that just destroys. The main perk on it is actually called Prismatic Inferno. Fires a solar trace beam and generates a damaging heat field that grows while the weapon continues to fire. With its secondary actual trait being good old flame refraction. Kills with this weapon return a fraction of the ammo used to the magazine from reserves, extending the beam's duration. In other words, the more kills you actually get, the more damage you do with this actual weapon and the more ammo you get back and the more kills you actually get, you get more ammo and it just keeps going and stuff like that. And this thing is honestly so much fun! I really like this thing. It was amazing when it first actually came out and it was really freaking broken, but it's still kind of broken, so pick it up if you've not got it. Honestly, it looks pretty cool in all different flavors. We've got Eye of Osiris, we've got the good old Prism, which just kind of looks weird. And we've also got the Hades Judgment, which this one is from, I think, the Korean version of Zor, which is kind of cool. So yeah, we saw that a while ago. Anyway, this thing is pretty nice. It is pretty decent. 29 legendary shards. Pick it up if you've not got it. Moving on though, next up, we've got ourselves 
They're consumable. We've got the Five of Swords challenge card. This allows you to make your nightfalls more challenging by adding challenging challenges to the already challenging challenges that exist within that challenging nightfall by actually adding challenging modifiers to those challenging challenges. Do you want to actually go through and get yourself more actual void kills? Do you want to get more arc kills? Do you want to get more solar kills? Do you want to actually go through and only get your health back when you kill enemies? Do you want to actually go through and only get ammo from certain enemies? Well, this thing in itself can actually change all that and more. Pick it up for your nightfalls because this thing in itself, honestly, is pretty nice and fun and you get better loot and yeah anyway finally finishing things off we've got ourselves the isochronal engram aka the fated engram exotic engram now that bungie calls it for, for 97 legendary shards this will decrypt into an exotic you do not actually own as it says there. it contains a new exotic if any remain to be collected otherwise it contains a random piece of exotic armor however it only actually does state that because it does actually give you any of the armors from last season not from this season so in itself if I pick this up for my Titan, I'm definitely not going to get the actual legs and boots that I want to get, but 97 Legendary Shards gets me a good old Ashen Wake again, because I think I got Ashen Wake last week as well from Zor, which is always nice, but anyway, one was 57 last week, this one is 57. It's, it's, it's the same. Well, that's, uh, it's great. It's great. It's also one light level lower. Anyway. As is all's location, inventory of the weekend has been Zach in the back. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, click that like button down below. Do like good stuff. Share this video around because it certainly helps the channel. It helps that you guys and I'm going to do more videos in the future. So, hopefully, once again, you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, click like button to look at stuff and be sharing like Karen. If he was, wait for it. Wait for it. It, it, it didn't even make it. it. It didn't even make it. I'll be sharing like Karen if he was Ed Sharon. But until next time, this is Zach Novak signing off. Oh, I'm falling from the sky now. Signing off. Peace out. Also, I've got Sergeant Spud on um, FaceTime. So, yeah. Cool. Peace out.